To make sure the images they are getting are accurate, NASA decides to make a control set of pictures on the ground at Yellowstone. Yellowstone on the brink, rumors, earthquakes, and the truth behind the uplift. In recent weeks, alarming headlines have spread across social media. Yellowstone is on the brink of collapse after a powerful earthquake at Mount St. Helens. The ground, they claim, is rising at an alarming rate. But is this science or sensationalism? Tonight, we investigate the facts behind these claims, unravel the mysteries of two of America's most iconic volcanoes, and explain what scientists are really observing beneath Yellowstone's vast caldera. 1. The Spark of the Rumor The story began after a strong earthquake shook the region of Mount St. Helens in Washington. This famous stratovolcano, which last erupted violently in 1980, has been under renewed scientific attention due to swarms of small quakes and gas releases. Some observers began linking this seismic activity with Yellowstone, over 800 miles away, suggesting that one volcano could wake up the other at the same time. Yellowstone scientists reported that ground sensors detected minor uplift measured in millimeters to centimeters around the caldera floor. This natural rise was quickly exaggerated online into claims of rapid, alarming uplift, supposedly pointing toward a catastrophic eruption. The combination of an earthquake at St. Helens and Yellowstone's normal ground movement gave rise to dramatic predictions. Yellowstone collapsing, America being buried in ash, and humanity facing a volcanic winter. 2. Yellowstone's reputation as a supervolcano. Yellowstone's name alone fuels fear. It sits atop one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, a caldera more than 40 miles wide, formed by three super eruptions over the past 2.1 million years. The last major eruption, about 640,000 years ago, ejecting over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. The last lava flow, about 70,000 years ago. Hydrothermal explosions, smaller steam-driven blasts occur every few centuries. The most recent significant one about 3,000 years ago. With such a cataclysmic history, any hint of change uplift, earthquakes, geysers erupting more violently sparks fears that the big one could return.3. the science of ground uplift at. The center of this story is Yellowstone's slow, seasonal breathing. GPS and satellite data reveal that the caldera floor often rises and falls by a few centimeters per year. Current observation, summer 2025, sensors show uplift of about one centimeter since late May, a typical seasonal change Cause most uplift cycles are driven by snowmelt and groundwater recharge. As water seeps underground, it changes the pressure in hydrothermal and sediment layers, causing the land to expand slightly. While uplift can also occur due to magma intrusion, scientists emphasize that no evidence, no unusual seismic swarms, no unusual gas emissions points to magma movement right now. The myth of connected volcanoes. 
of the most persistent misconceptions is that Mount St. Helens and Yellowstone are connected. Mount St. Helens belongs to the Cascade Volcanic Arc, fed by the subduction of the Juan de Fuca Plate beneath North America. Yellowstone, in contrast, is powered by a deep mantle hotspot unrelated to plate boundaries. These are independent volcanic systems, separated by vast distances and completely different geologic engines. Activity at Mount St. Helens does not trigger. Activity at Yellowstone... Dr. Michael Poland, scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, has repeatedly stated, There is no geophysical evidence that volcanoes in the Cascade Range and Yellowstone communicate with each other. They are entirely separate systems. 5. What about the earthquakes? Earthquakes are another source of public anxiety. Yellowstone experiences 1,500 to 2,500 small earthquakes per year, most too small to be felt. The largest recent quake, a magnitude to 0.8 in July 2025, No swarms of unusual size or frequency have been detected recently, for context. Yellowstone's largest recorded quake was the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake, magnitude 7.3, which triggered landslides and killed 28 people. Yet even that devastating event did not cause an eruption. Thus, the recent minor quakes fall well within normal background activity. 6. Could Yellowstone really collapse? Scientists distinguish between different risks at Yellowstone. Volatile rich cap on top of the magma chamber. Hydrothermal. Explosions. Steam driven blasts can occur suddenly, ejecting mud, rock, and water. These are small compared to volcanic eruptions, but still hazardous locally. Magma eruption. While possible, the odds of a catastrophic eruption in any given year are extremely low estimated at 1 in 730,000 by the USGS. Caldera collapse. Such. An event would require massive withdrawal of magma something that monitoring networks would detect months or years in advance. Present, no indicators suggest collapse or eruption is underway. Seven, why the public remains fascinated. Part of Yellowstone's power is psychological. It represents both natural wonder and existential threat. Movies, documentaries, and viral social media posts amplify fears, often blurring the line between science and speculation. When the ground lifts a few centimeters, some see it as a breathing giant, a sleeping monster that might awaken. Scientists, however, interpret it as the normal pulse of a living hydrothermal system. Eight. The bottom line fact, Mount St. Helens had an earthquake. Fact, Yellowstone's ground rose about one centimeter since May. Fact, these are normal and expected phenomena. False claim, Yellowstone is on the brink of collapse because of St. Helens. Conclusion, Yellowstone is not collapsing, not erupting, and not directly connected to Mount St. Helens. The system is under constant watch by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, which reports that activity remains well within normal background levels.
So while the headlines might scream about collapse and catastrophic eruptions, the science tells a calmer story. Yellowstone continues to breathe, rise, and fall as it has for millennia.